Hey there everyone, in this quick short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use GIFs or GIFs to make amazing quiz videos under a very short time. So let's get started with it. As you can see, I have a GIF on my screen, but it doesn't play until I open the slideshow. To open the slideshow, you can just click over here or just press F5 and you'll have your slideshow on. And as you can see, the GIF starts to play when you open your slideshow. We will use this feature to our advantage. So I'm gonna delete everything. So Control A, then delete. We have a clean slide. To insert a GIF, the procedure is same as inserting a picture. You go to Insert menu, then you have Pictures, go to Pictures, and as you can see, I have many GIFs stored in my PC. So I'm gonna select one. For example, I'm gonna select uh, this, this one, GIF number two. And if I press F5 or just toggle the slideshow on, you'll see the GIF has started to play. Pretty simple, right? Now what I'm gonna do is just minimize it a bit and then go to Insert tab. Then I'm gonna go for Word Art, then get some text and I'm gonna say Technology. I'm not sure. Okay, we got our technology font right there. Then I'm gonna change the font a bit. Avant G Bold, my favorite font. And then I'm gonna maximize it. Then what I'm going to do is to turn it into video, go to file, then save as, then select a place. For example, I'm going to browse. I'm going to save it on my desktop, then save as type. Then you have this option impact for video format. Click on it, hit save and booyah. We have our video rendering and five, four, three, two, oh, it's done. <laughs> so it was quite fast. And if I play the video, as you can see, we have our video rolling so it just took less than two minutes to create a video on our own now imagine the potential of this feature i'm going to show you a bit more trick than this so i'm going to delete this then i'm going to bring a new gif to do that i'm going to go for the same process inside pictures then i'm going to choose for example this drama we have this drama buddy in our pc then if i press f5 you can see the drama is playing well pretty smooth right then what i'm going to do is press ctrl d to duplicate, Ctrl D for duplicating things, then another Ctrl D to duplicate it again. Then what I'm gonna do is just minimize them a bit and put them alongside. Then I'm gonna reverse this guy, like for example, format, then rotate, flip horizontal. Now if I press F5, these things don't seem like they just go along together, right? So what I'm gonna do is go to design, then format background, then color, then use eyedropper tool and with eyedropper tool i'm going to select this yellow and boom the gifs have merged with the background and if i play it right now it seems so harmonious with the gif right now i'm going to just change the technology font a bit i'm going to go to format text fill eyedropper i'm going to maybe use this pink yep done it goes or maybe i'll just stick with white yeah, white is better, right? So there's that technology, oh sorry, technology now. Uh, make some noise, people. Make some noise, then I'm gonna decrease it in size and select everything and put it in the relevant middle. Then if I play F5, it seems like we have a cool band of drummers making some noise. All you have to do now is to render it as video. So impact for video format and save on your desktop. Boom, and we have our video rendered in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, oh yeah, done. We have a video rendered, video making, and as you can see, we have a cool band of drummers making some noise. Now, if you wanna increase the duration a bit, all you need to do is just click on the slide bar, then just press Ctrl D. Boom, then you have a double the size of the video which you had previously. Isn't that amazing? Now you can use this feature for many reasons. I particularly like this feature because you can make small clips for contents which you'll be able to publish on Facebook or YouTube or whatever it suits you. So I hope this feature helps you out and you can do so many things, man. I just can't, you know, like describe how many things you can go with this feature. For example, I have so many gifts. Uh, for example, I can use this and then I'm going to go to design again, form my background again, match the color with the background and boom, we have this and we can type social media. Uh, we cannot see the font, right? Okay, social, oh, I typed the social wrong about that. Sorry about that, guys can't spell things right. Well, you can't do everything right, can't you now? <laughs> okay, social media, 
boom and then you have this gif or you can also use it as a video now the important part here is i'm just gonna press ctrl d to duplicate it then delete it then go to insert again pictures and then i'm gonna choose this gif minimize it a bit social media then use it wisely use it wisely guys then i'm gonna go to transitions and fade it out a bit so if i render it let's see what happens I'm going to go to save as type, impact 4, save, desktop, save, yup. And we have our video ready in 5, come on guys, count with me, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, in your pajamas, 1, and boom, we have our video ready. Now if I play the video, you will see something like this, social media, and shoo. The transition use it wisely now imagine how many things you can stack one after another to make a complete entire new video on your own in a very small amount of time you don't need to be an animator you don't need to learn anything great or design great stuff you only need to find those gifts out from the internet and use them with text on and make amazing videos that's gonna blow the socks out of your colleagues feet i mean I don't, i'm not sure whether i'm not using it correctly or not what well, that would be the entire tutorial hope you had some fun hope you learned something new if you like this tutorial please do share this video with other people if you can and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that will inspire me to make more videos and share more features and tricks with you so thanks for watching